Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, as you can see, we now have three little squares, I almost said dots, in the bottom left hand corner. And uh, that signifies, of course, we beat another major boss, which was the, I want to say Luxio, Luxio, I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, the Manetric Tribe. So, uh, in this episode, moving on to another major portion of the game. I really, like, split this up into, like, like sections of major bosses, really, in my head. Like, the chapters, there's so many of them that, like, you can't reasonably split everything into them. Especially since some chapters don't even have, like, major, like, a boss in them at all. It's like, I can't, I can't equate that. Anyway, huff puff, boys. Come on, hurry. So we were just called into the guild, if you don't remember, by Bidoof while we were talking to Dusnor after saving uh, Azuril's water flow thing. Everyone's here, yep, yep. Sorry, everyone. We just got told that the call went out, so we came running. What's going on? Another time gear was stolen. What? Not another one? From where now? Where was this time gear stolen from? Well, it... Uh, what's the problem? Did it happen somewhere where you don't want to talk about? Wait, it wasn't the one from... Yes. Yes, it was. This time, the time gear was stolen from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Huh? B but how? The time gear that was at Fogbound Lake, only we knew about that, right? So how could this happen? It couldn't be... That a member of the guild talked, could it? What? That wasn't called for. Hey, 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 don't trust your fellow members? I mean, he has a valid point, to be fair. Ugh, sorry, that wasn't called for. You're right. No one would break our promise to keep that secret. It, it just never happened. I wasn't thinking. I know no one would ever do that. I'm sorry. Well, it was no wonder that you'd leap to that conclusion. I mean, this horrible thing did happen right after an expedition. Just one moment. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. There was a time gear at Fogbound Lake? I did not know about that. Did I not hear quite a different tale from your recent expedition? I recall being told that your expedition to Fogbound Lake ended in failure. I apologize, Great Dusnor. We made a promise, so we couldn't even tell you, Dusnor. Anyway, a lone intruder slipped into Fogbound Lake, knocked out Yuxi, and made off with the time gear. Yuxi? Is Yuxi all right? Yes, Yuxi is fine. He's under pr the protection of Magdazone's squad. No need to worry. Ooh, I'm glad to hear that. Wait, there's more. According to Yuxi's victim statement, the intruder's identity has been revealed. Then fess up, what kind of critter are we dealing with? There's already a wanted poster up for the thief. See for yourselves. And so we see... It's a Grovile. This Pokemon goes by the name of Grovile. Mm-hmm, <laughs> we totally have no connection to that at all, being a Trico. Oof, that's one nasty piece of work. <laughs> like how he's like, this is based off of a generic picture of a Grovile. Like, Trico's turning into that and everyone's being like, oh, what a disgusting piece of crap. So this is the Pokemon. The thief who's stealing the time gears. The wanted poster just arrived. It was issued on, based on Yuxi's statement. It arrived as part of an all-points bulletin. Oh, that figures. That's why all those Pelipper were flying around. Officer Magnazone obviously doesn't want to see things worsen. They put a remarkably high bounty on, thieving, on the thieving Grovile. We promised Yuxi. We promised not to reveal the secret of Fogbound Lake. But then this happens. We didn't leak the secret, but... I'm ashamed to show my face in front of Yuxi now. Hey, hey, here's what sticks in my craw. The view there has been ruined. And hey, hey, I just can't forgive that. I don't think that's a really our biggest worry. Er. Hey, Guildmaster. Er. 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 G Guildmaster. Uh-oh. Yumta. Wah. Squawk. Squawk. Everyone, we'll catch Grovile. We'll catch that thief. I vow it upon the name of the Wigglytuff's Guild. Chat out if you will. Yes. Okay, everyone. From here on out, we're putting our full focus on capturing Grovile. 
Do your best to bring Grovile to justice. It goes without saying. Hey, 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 there's no way we can't let any more Time Gears be stolen. Come on, everyone, let's pull together. Let's do it for Yuxi. Wigglytuff, I believe I understand the situation now. I will join your guild in your guild's pursuit of Grovile. Thank you, Great Dustnor. Golly, having the Great Dustnor in our corner is mighty hardening. Hey, hey, we're honored. No, no, it's my honor entirely. At present, the Guildmaster and I shall confer. We will devise a strategy for finding Grovile. In the meantime, you should all start preparing to go on searches. Return here when you're ready to leave. Okay, everyone. Let's outdo ourselves. Hooray! Alright, so we're kind of going to be in a little preparation period for now. We should hurry and get ready, Trico. Let's start preparing with a visit to Treasure Town. So we're not really going to have very much free time for a little while, because, like they said, we're putting all of our effort into finding this culprit. So uh, we do kind of want to get a lot of what we want to uh, have ready. Like, you know, ready. So first off, we're going to store a bunch of items that we're not going to need. Um, I'm going to keep these power bands on, because as long as we're not knocked out, like, they're useful. So I have no problem with keeping them. Um, gravel rocks are pretty useful. I don't need all of these. Uh, I should probably just sell off the plain seeds or trade them in, actually, so I'll go ahead and put those in as well. We don't need these reviver seeds. Anything that was really not used, we don't need. Oh yeah, we have to, like, get rid of this used TM somewhere. I think you can only, like, sell it for, like, a Pokecoin or something. I'm not sure. There is a way. Um, I'm gonna keep the Petrified Orb because this is actually... This next dungeon that we're gonna go into is the first dungeon that you can start finding... Uh, monster houses, so it's kind of a good thing to have that. Uh, these are all moves we cannot learn. We can learn natural gift, but it's not too amazing. So I'm not worried about it. Um, we're actually going to keep this apple, and you're going to see why. Stamina band actually might not be bad either, but like I think we'll be fine with a few apples. Um, we have a purple gummy, and we have a heavy box. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put away all of these bands and weird stuff we really don't need. We have a completely full inventory, I'll remind you. So we really need to, like, put it down a bit. Alright. We're also going to do a couple of those, uh, things in the Spinda Cafe. Uh, we're going to open any of the remaining boxes we have. Because I kind of want to do something with them before we go out on our adventure here. I want to start getting into what you can also do with these items. Because we have amassed quite a large collection of... Well, okay, never mind. It's not a special Pokemon item. We just got a Zinc Band, which isn't terrible, but... Uh, I would rather not have it. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to take all of those bands I just put in, pretty much, because they're worth a lot, and I kind of want to sell them. Stamina, Twist, all of them. They're not really worth swapping out or trading. Or re recycling is the word, isn't it? Yeah, they're not really worth that because they're just worth so much money. It's like, why would you, instead of just selling them all? Like, look at that. Look at all that money. 2,000 poke. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see if there's anything useful to buy. Um, heal ribbon is actually amazing. Uh, that actually speeds up your normal healing as you're walking through levels. I think that means, like, you heal one point for every step you take. I think. Black gummy. What does black gummy do? Dark type? Probably dark type. Um, nothing too special. Uh, anything special here? However... Swords Dance. That's fun. Uh, don't really need that. That would... I don't think Eevee can actually learn that in this game. Like I said before, movesets are different, but I do believe Eevee is still limited to not getting Swords Dance. So, even though that would be incredible for her, uh, I don't think it's gonna be possible. Yep, alright. So, we're going to head back into the guild and we should be automatically... I'm a liar. We're going to make a shake. Oh, also, someone actually said there's going to be a Pokemon in the left here. I'm assuming they mean, like, at this table. I don't think it's Magnemite. Oh. Oh, no, they meant this person. They'll occasionally give you missions that can unlock new areas. 
so I'm going to accept this job request. We'll do it sometime later. But I believe the reward for that, if I'm correct with the comments, is that's going to unlock a new a new dungeon specific to this game. That also worries me a bit because I'm not sure if it's like... Like, that probably means it's going to be a big dungeon if it's like some secret dungeon. Like, maybe it's one of those ones that like in Red and Blue Rescue Team, they would just be like 99 floors and then you'd have a chance at a rare Pokemon at the end. You know? Something like that. Anyway, I'm going to do a ton of recycling, so I'll show you all the results. Wait, what? Everyone made it- they made a new discovery? Treasure was discovered, so we're offering higher grade of recycled items. I don't really know- like, this seems to be happening a lot. I'm assuming it's because I'm recycling a fair bit. I'm, I'm just not sure of the exact changes. Oh, it's doing it again. Like, look, twice. Twice in a- wait, whoa! That just outright unlocked a new area. Okay. I guess we'll go exploring there sometime. It's just I don't kind of want to go into some random area without knowing what it is first. So I might, like, t look into it and then we might head off into it if it's something important. Anyway, silver ticket time. Alright, so we got an escape orb. Also, you can trade in the used TMs here, so that's useful as well. So here we're getting a gold ribbon, which we might as well just sell off. Another win, we get Psych Up, which isn't terrible, but eh. And for our last prize, we got a Fossil Orb, which I'll actually take, because once again, the danger of monster houses is very real. I just kind of want to start doing that to thin out the items I don't need in the storage. We had a lot of plain seeds. We had the used TM, you know, useless items like that. We also have an overabundance of max elixirs, honestly, which is something you won't see me say a lot, like an overabundance of max elixirs. That's, uh, that's quite a bit. I'm, of course, going to sell off. I'm probably going to sell off Psych Up as well. Psych Up uh, is the one that copies the foe's stat changes, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, that's got to be it. Um... And I don't really have a reason to buy anything here. Yeah, okay. I think we've done all of the preparations we want to do so far. So, we're going to go ahead and go back to the guild. I have an incredible amount of money that I want to store right now. Now we're finally going to go back to the guild and progress the plot. Because that's what we do. Now I see everyone's with us. First and foremost, this should go without saying. Grovile appears wherever time gears are located. But where are the time gears? That is the question, but we have no answer. And therefore we have relied on the great, upon the great Dusnor for ideas. Together we've identified several locations where the time gears may be found. We ask that everyone split into groups and investigate each of these potential sites. First, Loudred and Corfish, I'm assigning you to the eastern forest. There, that's the huge forest far to the east, of course. Got it. Hey, hey, we'll do our best. Next, Bidoof, Doug Trio, and Sunflora, we'd like you to search Crystal Cave. Yep, yep, will do. Understood. Oh my gosh, I'll search hard. And finally, Trico and Eevee, you two are assigned to the Northern Desert. The Northern Desert? Correct. Open your Wonder Map. Okay. Eevee, open the Wonder Map. And of course, that's going to be all the way up here. Obscured by clouds. But the dry terrain starts in this area here. That's why it's rumored the vast desert extends from that point onwards. We suspect a time gear is hidden in the depths of the desert. That is that is where we're sending you to investigate. Okay, we understand. Um, what about me? Diglett will remain at the guild. We can't very well leave the guild completely unattended, like we literally already did for the expedition. I don't understand that. Krognik and I are staying behind at the guild too. The work we do at the guild is important, too. Let's make sure we keep up our good work. Yes. Now let's find them time gear. <laughs> them time gears, I said, out of habit. Yeesh. Yumta. Hooray. All right. So I believe now we're free to kind of go do what we want. The northern desert is not only wide and deep, it's raked by vicious stand sandstorms. Please do take care. I will. Will do. Thank you. Trico, let's try our best. So I believe we can actually bring other Pokemon with us. I'm going to. I'm going to grab Nidorino, because, I mean, we might as well. 
as long as we're like training up other Pokemon, because eventually you know we're going to use Nidoking. Nidoking is so good. We might as well bring Nidorina around here, Nidorino around for the adventure. However, at the Krogunk Swap Shop that we have not used yet, we have a bunch of those items. So, you can view a list of exclusive items. Basically, I believe, yeah, this shows you all of the all of the items that Trico can use. This includes all of the Trico items, all the Grovile items, all of the items that, this is for uh, the Trico family too. I believe there's some items that only affect grass types uh, and all the Sceptile items, which of course all, uh, all include all Pokemon. They, all of these items have different rarities. Once you have enough items of a certain rarity, you can kind of combine them to make the better items later on in the thing. Like, it's, it's a whole thing. So, you can swap for items here, and oh my god, he just has an Eevee tail outright. I don't believe any of the others here are useful for us. Yeah, that's for a Doduo. Fluffy Scarf is for Flaffy. Snowy Torque is Snover. Bonsly, Neon Mega, it's kind of obvious. Eevee Tail Hover. This is for Eevee, and it slightly boosts defense. It is a rarity one item, so it's not incredible, but it is definitely worth it, because like I've said before, you can trade these in to get the better items for that family. Wait, hold on, did it not let us do it? No money, no swap. Oh, I don't have money. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so now I have money. We're getting the Eevee tail, oh my goodness. So, in return for getting that Eevee tail, since it's a low rarity item, it only costs two. I believe th two star items require four and three star items require five, although it might vary depending on the specific item. I don't know, but you know. So, obviously we're probably not ever going to, we have an Infern hair and a Monfer hair, which kind of makes me want to keep them because we have like two of a set. Um, I think the use least useful here is going to be the Cheruby seed and the Magby card, personally, because they're not of any starters, and it's like, it's completely random Pokemon. Eevee Tail. Now, I'm gonna put the combinations... Oh, okay, good. Yeah, swaps can sometimes go wrong, and then you get some random item otherwise, so that's another thing to be careful about, but we got good items. So, now we have an Eevee Tail, which will increase uh, Eevee's defense, and I believe, I don't know... That Grovy card, or Grovy shoot, increases our defense as well. So basically, we both have higher defense. It's a pretty good deal. I'll put the swaps that you can do for specific items on screen. Like, you can give, like, I don't know, like, two Grovy cards and, like, a, a jungle banana to get, you know, like, a, a better Grovile card thing, you know? It's stuff like that. Anyway, without further ado... Let's do the Northern Desert, finally. So, once again, I'm going to mention this is a very high step up from the previous dungeons. Northern Desert is through here. If a Time Gear really is here, Groval should show up here for sure. Let's do our best and find uh, that Time Gear. I'm good at video games. Um. Okay, so first off... Oh, okay. So, once we get later in the dungeon, there will actually be a constant sandstorm. Which is actually insane, because basically what that means is you're not going to gain any health from walking around. Uh, the damage you take from the sandstorm is going to offset the health you, you gain from just walking. So that, already on, it, uh, on its own, adds a huge challenge. In addition to that, there's ground-type Pokémon here that can use magnitude and basically, if they get lucky, knock you out in one shot. In addition to that, there's some pretty strong Pokémon you can find here. I believe we'll be seeing Larvitars, Pupitars, uh... If you're lucky, you can get a tra- yep, there's a Larvitar. If you're- oh, there's the Sandstorm. And of course, like, some Pokémon have Sandstream. Oh, that's dead. Goodbye. Okay, well... It was just- we got a level out of them, at the very least. Luckily, we do have Absorb, so we're going to be at a pretty good advan advantage here as long as no one really focuses Eevee. Also, that's the first time Eevee hasn't been able to one-shot a normal Pokemon, I think. Like, outside of Outlaws and stuff. Which is interesting. Good level up. 
But once again, I am lucky that I have a Trico specifically, because first off, I do pretty good damage to everything in this dungeon. And in addition to that, I have a way to heal even if there's a sandstorm up. So that's a good deal. So what I was saying about you're probably going to want an apple for this area. You're going to notice that there's no food items here. I'm not sure if there's any berries. There might be, but I know for a fact there's no apples. Nothing that specifically is meant to increase your, uh, your hunger level. Decrease your hunger level, I guess. Um, and uh, that can be a real danger. So, you're going to want to bring at least one apple. You're probably not going to have to use it, but if you get unlucky with the floor layouts, you could be in a tight spot because hunger will get you. Silver spikes as well, which is the next step in stronger items we can get to do damage at a distance. Yeah, these are some bulky boys. Also, those fury swipes can be so dangerous. I'm gonna knock out this guy on the outside here so Eevee can deal with the one on the inside. Hopefully. A lot of these Pokemon will also have abilities that increase their power. Actually, I don't think power increasing abilities in the, in the sand existed in this generation. I believe that was introduced in Generation 5 with uh, Drillbur. Yeah, you can see we're slowly taking damage, but we're healing it off pretty much exactly. You're going to very, very slowly lose HP in Sandstorm if you're just walking around. Uh, it like, you'll gain it back a lot, but if you have like a little bit of HP down, it'll start building up because basically we're hitting, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. But yeah, just some interesting details about this specific dungeon for some reason is made so hard. And I believe it's kind of like there's a shift between before the expedition and after the expedition to where dungeons just get harder. Uh, we've kind of exited the section of the game where they expect you to be, like, good. Aha! So, this is what you're going to find instead of any food items in this area. Plus, we haven't found any berries, so I don't think there's berries either. Grimy food. Grimy food will help fill your hunger thing a little tiny bit, but they will also do some random thing to you. Usually includes giving you a status ailment, as I'll show off right now by throwing it at the enemy. Oh, he caught it. Okay, well, never mind then. And if you're lucky, like I said, you'll pro you could uh, get a trap inch here. Can I please get a single hit off? Oh my god. So we just got a trap inch. If you know what trap inch are, that's very good. Uh, base oh, it's level 23. Oh my goodness. But as you can see, still not as strong as me or Eevee. In fact, let's look at his stats. His attack stats should be pretty decent, given it's a, it's a trap inch. Um, 35 attack. Yeah, no. Uh, 42, and that's decreased, I think. 54, yeah. Like I said, even if you find Pokemon stronger than you, they're weaker than you. Don't be fooled. I don't know why I'm walking towards that. It does clear statuses, but like, you can just- Now this is a fun little layout here. More pokey. Three pokey. Yeah, that's worth it. I don't- This is just a very weird dungeon. As you can probably tell, it's giving us very small money amounts. Mo all mock orb. That's actually a good item. I think that's like the first good item we've picked up here, as a matter of fact. Also, I believe there's a Pupitar on this floor, which is why there's the the permanent sandstorm. Also, that's not a Pokemon I want to fight. Uh, I have Quick Attack. I have Rock Slide still, too. Oh, I thought I was one spot away. All right. Absorb should do a good amount of damage. No, it shouldn't. Oh, Roar is a move that just knocks you back into the wall behind you, and if you hit another... Really? That's going to pop up? It's gonna pop up on my bottom screen. I specifically moved it in a spot where where it won't be affected by the the steam pop-ups because then they they kept popping up on the bottom screen because that's where I keep it on my recording software. But uh, now that popped up in the middle of it. It's one of the it's the update thing for Windows 10, basically saying, "Hey, there's an update out," and then you pick, uh, "Yeah, no, remind me again in three days," because that's all it gives you the option to do. 
So yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be there on the bottom screen. I don't know how long, probably not for very long, hopefully. There's a Carnivine here, which is a Pokemon no one ever remembers, so good for it. We're also kind of busting through this dungeon. This is, if you couldn't tell so far, a pretty long dungeon. Like, I believe, if I remember correctly, like 18 to 20, somewhere around that range. I know it's a long one. Hey, that's good money. Go ahead and knock these out. I don't know if I have any max elixirs in my inventory. I have none. Okay, I need to lay off the use of absorb then. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Uh, let's throw a silver spike to see how much damage it does. 25! That's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm gonna be knocking out these guys like it's nothing. Eevee using the flail. Do we have them set to do only flail? Actually. No, we have them on tackle too. You know what? Switch on the shadow ball. Because we're not in areas like dominated by normal types anymore. It should be useful once again. That's really what I was waiting for. Also that roll call orb. Yummy. Yummy. Ooh, a cacturn. I'm gonna fight it simply because it's a new Pokemon. And we see none of its moves. Moving onward. Also, we're getting a ton of experience from these Pokemon here, too. Like, always 200 or above. That's pretty crazy. That'll be good for leveling up. And if we find any Pupitars, specifically, that'll be a pretty good deal. Oh, it has Rock Head. It didn't take recoil from that. I believe uh, Takedown will always give you 15 points of recoil. So uh, watch out for that. Oh my god, it's going to knock down... It's gonna knock out our trap inch. All right, I think we might have an Orenberry. Yeah, only one though, so I don't want to risk it. You know what I'm gonna do? So, to finally show off the effect of grimy food, I'm gonna eat it. That lowered my attack and special attack by three stages. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's why you don't want to mess with grimy food. Is this the deepest part of the desert? Wow, there's quicksand. The sand's getting sucked down here and there. They're like sand whirlpools and we'll all be pulled under if we get close. It's dangerous here. I don't see any anything around here that even remotely looks like a time gear. I guess there's nothing here. Oh, what's wrong, Trico? It's feeling. It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I, I know this place. Maybe I've only heard of this place, but it seems like I've been here before. I can't tell which. Either way, I do know this place. It's hey, Trico. What's wrong? You seem to be in a daze there. Well, it seems like nothing to be nothing. There seems to be nothing here. How disappointing. Let's report our findings to the guild. Let's go home. I like how he's pushing us out. Like, that's... I don't know. It's a detail, that's for sure. And we unlocked some of the clouds. How nice. Over the northern desert. Fun. Alright, what? So everyone's back from their searches, but nobody found anything? Disappointing. That's what happened, alright. Hey, hey, we went out to the eastern forest just like we were told. But hey, there's nothing really there but forest. And as for the crystal cave, yep, yep, it was chock full of crystals. Mighty pretty cave, I tell ya. It was so pretty that I just couldn't help... Helping myself to a crystal. Oh, when did you pick that up? I was with you the whole time. I never noticed. Bidoof. Our objective was to find a time gear. We all failed to achieve our objective. But you had the nerve to collect a souvenir totally unrelated to the mission? Now listen. This is a scene I never understood. Like, he picked up a crystal. It's a crystal. Do you know how much that could be worth? Firstly, he could just donate the money to the guild. He could use the money for preparations for adventuring furthermore. He could use it to fund research of the time gear. Like, I d uh, who do you think you are? I don't like this scene because of that. Oof, gosh, I'm sorry. I just wanted a tiny treasure for myself, that's all. Dustnor, sir, I regret to say it. Our search efforts ended fruitlessly. Ah, this is vexing. I thought the search locations we chose held promise. I blame my lack of knowledge. I am truly chastened. My goodness, no! 
You mustn't blame yourself. Why, it was thanks only to your vast knowledge that we came up with our plan, Dusnor. Nonetheless, our efforts have ended in failure. That's a fact. But being hard on ourselves is pointless. Let us reconsider our plan. We'll devise a different strategy tomorrow. Yes, let's do that. And may we find success together. That's how it stands, everyone. That's enough work for today. Rest up. Prepare for tomorrow. Understood. And that does it for that day. Yummy, yummy stuff. But uh, we're not done with the explorations yet. We have more... Oof. More painful stuff to go through tomorrow. We should get some sleep, too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Trico. Okay, good night. Let's get some sleep, too. Who... In addition to who, I have to wonder. Like, no one else was in that scene except for us. I don't know. See you all in the next episode when we continue our search for the Time Gears. See you all then, and goodbye.